Hello everyone and welcome to Bumby. I hope you guys had a safe, wonderful Christmas Day. Um, I sure did. But we didn't celebrate on Christmas Day with the whole family and the opening the gifts. We did it on December the 23rd. And I know you're probably thinking, why won't you do it on Christmas? It's too hectic. If we do it on Christmas Eve, everybody's in a hurry. They need to go wrap. They still need to go shop. There's always some kind of, because there's too many get-togethers back-to-back. -back. So I try to do it the 22nd or the 23rd, depending on, you know, when it falls during the week or the weekend. And that way, my kids are relaxed. We're all here. We open our gifts. Nobody's stressed. They still have time, you know, another day or two to wrap their gifts or do more shopping or get organized for all the other activities. So, I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. I was very blessed. I got a lot of different things. Very happy with all my gifts. But I also wanted to let you know that something happened to me at Walmart. And I'm like still in shock. So, let's go back a little bit. Um, we do our party on December the 23rd. On December the 22nd, I had still needed a lot of shopping to do for the rest of the family. I went out a couple of times, but I really couldn't find uh, things that I wanted or to give to my kids. So anyways, um, so we go to Walmart on December the 22nd. And it's like mid-afternoon. So I get in the shower and I get ready to go to um, Walmart. But right before I had done that, in the morning, I had wrapped the gifts that I already had purchased. I had already wrapped that and had it ready to go. And then I figured when I come back from uh, Walmart or wherever we go shopping, then I'll wrap the remaining gifts because our party was the next day. So anyways, I'm coming out of my walk-in closet and I have left my storage um, zipper container that I have all my wrapping paper. And I don't know if the dogs or the cat uh, were playing with it and they rolled one of the wrapping papers toward the door of the closet. So I guess when I opened the closet and I stepped down, I stepped on this rolling wrapping paper and this thing is rolling and I'm just like up in the air and I fall on tile floor. That's what I have in my room. So my knees are all like bruised up and I sprained uh, like from my hand all the way to my elbow. So I wasn't really feeling uh, too good to go out shopping. So I'm calling my daughter saying, forget it. Let's not go shopping. Let's cancel the dinner for the 23rd for tomorrow. Let's just have it another day. And she's like, well, mom, let me go see what's wrong. What do you mean? And I say, well, I'm sitting here in my underwear and my bra and I can't get dressed. I can't move my arm. I'm not feeling too good. So she comes over. And she massages, you know, uh, my arm with, you know, like Bengay, and we wrap it in this. And um, I take a muscle relaxer, and she goes, come on, Mom, let's go, because I have to get a lot of shopping done. So I go, okay, let's go. So my arm is doing so much better today, it's the 26th, but, um, you know, I couldn't push the cart. I was in pain. I really was in pain. Anyways, we're shopping for three or four hours. We get a bunch of stuff that we need, and we're at the register. And when we're at the register, there's like this young man with a 50-inch TV and a cart. So we only had one cart because I really couldn't take a cart and push it. So we just stayed together, and, you know, Melissa was pushing the cart. So we told him, oh, why don't you just go ahead of, of us? Because we still have to, like, divide what's hers and what's mine, and we have to figure out what we have in the cart. So we tell him, go ahead, go ahead of us. And he said, okay. But he didn't really go ahead of us. He stayed, like, to the side of us, and he was looking at what we were doing. So basically, Melissa's kind of really putting everything up on the counter, you know, at the register, because I really couldn't move much with this arm. And... It's his turn, and he goes and he rings up his TV, and, you know, he's buying his TV. And the lady at the register starts grabbing our stuff and ringing it in. And I'm like, no, ma'am, 
that's our stuff. This man only had a TV. And she's like, oh no. He said for me to ring up your whole entire, you know, merchandise. We're like, what? What do you mean? Well, yeah. So we look at him and we're like, no, no. And he said, yes. I would like to buy everything in your cart. So my daughter's like removing soap that she had bought and laundry detergent. And he's like, don't you touch anything. Leave everything the way it is and I'm going to pay for it. I have a government job. I make good money. I have no children and I only have two dogs. So let me help somebody and I just want to say Merry Christmas. So that was like shocking. We were like crying. We couldn't believe it. We were like, what? So yeah. So this nice man um, that I don't know, I, we were so confused, um, so happy, so emotional that I didn't even take a picture with him. I didn't even get his name. He bought $589 worth of merchandise for us. So that was a blessing. That has never happened to me. And um, I just want to thank this wonderful man for doing that. And I know that now it's my turn when I see someone in the store and I can that I need to pay it forward. Okay, so now on to what I got for Christmas. Okay, item number one. I got this craft cart in a teal color. Really, really, really cute. I've always wanted one of these little rolling carts um, that they've had, you know, Ikea came out with this. And I got one for my craft room. So that was really cool. Okay, and then, let me show you. I got a lot of things, guys. I got this LA Color Prep Set. It's got a primer setting for your makeup. So. And then I got this salt lamp. Really cute. It's like a little night light that you plug in by Laura Ashley. And then I got this Farmer's Market picture frame. Really cute. I believe they're from Dollar Tree. And I got this Market Fresh Produce from Dollar Tree as well, I believe. And then I got this beautiful uh, shirt. It's really nice. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a really soft material. And then I got this, guys. I got a silver color Cuba charm to put on a necklace. Love that. And then that's this. And I also got um, a huge smart Roku TV from my baby son. And here's my TV, guys, that my son got me, my Roku TV that has everything installed in it. So, yep. So I moved my room around, and I'll do a video on that probably in the next couple of days. He surprised me, and he showed up with a smart TV for my room. I had a TV, but it wasn't a smart one. So that was really, really nice. Okay, I got this. Oh my god, look at this. How cute, guys. This little hot cocoa. Little carafe. Is that adorable or what? And then I got this beautiful. Look at this. This Havana Cuba pillow. And it says like Santiago de Cuba, República de Cuba. Welcome Cuba. The Caribbean. Oh my God, this is like so cute. Love my Cuban pillow. And then I got this um, Carmel Pecan candle. 
I've already burned it. It smells really, really good. And then I got this beautiful, look at this, Christmas tree. Look at that. This is going to go great with my striped red and white candy cane theme next year. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of teal. Yep. And then I got these glass ornaments. Beautiful. And then I got him. How adorable is he? And he's going to be great next year with the red and white thing. Yeah, cute. Okay, and then Lauren made me these. Look at these guys. She said she made it with bath salts. And she made me three different sizes. Look how beautiful. So I have the big one, the small and the medium, and she put tea lights inside of them. See, look at the big one. So pretty. I'm going to have to glaze them because the bath salt is falling. And I don't think she glazed it with uh, one of those clear glazes, but I have some, so I'm going to do that before I pack them. Okay, let's see. I got this. Oh my God, this is so good. I got this raw sugar body butter pineapple McKill Berry Coconut Lotion. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. Love this. I've already been using it. And then I got a smartphone tripod. One of those little ones for my car to put on my mirror. So, super cute. And then I got this Burt Bee. Mmm. Burt's Bee Candle. And this is Eucalyptus Mint. So this is good like if you're running a cold or your nose is running. It's really good to turn that on. And then I got, look how cute guys. Look how cute. A little egg holder with a little chicky. Is that cute or what? So yeah guys, that's what I got for Christmas. I'm really happy. I got a lot of cute stuff. Um, and again, I got that blessing. Um, this man who paid for all of my Christmas gifts. So that was just incredible. Incredible. Okay guys, well, I wish you all a very happy, happy new year and a safe one. Um, I don't do much for New Year. I just do the little Cuban tradition that we do on New Year's Eve. And I might videotape that depending on how things go and show you our Cuban tradition, what we do on the 31st. Okay, thanks a lot and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.